Hi, this is Catcomb One here, back with more 25 Years on Oath by Phobos. This is played through Z Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty setting, and after playing map 16 for the second time, as I played it in the demo, I am once again blind. This is map 17, Entrance Made. And despite having only 72 man styles, according to the map, Phobos calls this one of the meaner levels of the WAD. So, let's see what we're up against. We blew up our own ship. I guess Doom Guy isn't smelt all the time. Shouldn't have really done that. But... We'll just have to continue on foot, it seems. Okay. Well, that time I can get through. Okay, do it open higher every time? No. Can't get through at all. No. Okay, some kind of door. Like it's like door open to a random height or something. I'm guessing it's one of the line actions Phobos had to use, but I didn't even know random height was a line action. Oh, and talking about line actions, yeah, this is the second last level made for the wad so you can expect that to see possibly some railroad line actions used like well that right there is not something I see very that often so I'm assuming it's related to a railroad line action and by the way the very next level is the last level made for the Mega Wad. Okay, that almost entrance made. I wonder if that's a pun and entryway because that looks a little entryway-ish after I jump. So what's there? Uh, okay, I can jump or I can just fall in the nukage. This has a 20% damage, does not end the level effect. Whoa, what was that? Either some cool sector effect or another line action, I don't know. Have something teleport in and explode is a line action possibly? Interestingly, I know Big Mac Davis came across this recently in Doom 64. It is a possible line action to have a light to have something required to have a line death require a key to use, although that's more a property than an action, and I don't know if vanilla supports it or you have to have at least boom compatible to support it. So there's a berserk pack. And it seems I hmm better get it. It looks like I'm not coming back. Whoa! Okay. Maybe I'll take the chance that I do get to come back because... Man, I... Oh, the so outvails and bought the wax shines. That's me. And there's 20% damage and so on that I have to own my wax suit. And my wax suit leaked. 
Okay, I understand how this is one of the mean, really, how this level is so mean. Or at least I think I understand. I got an idea. But whether or not I take the Berserk, I'll have enough ammo to absorb one out vial blast. But then I can't mutate, can't take lava damage on top of that. Well, those med kits right there, it's, it's just about staying alive. Ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ha, ha, ha. Ha staying alive. Okay, what am I missing? I really need that watch. Oh, and I also need the ammo. That's absorb a third of my damage. Need ammo, need black suit. Fifty-three health. I need need fifty-five health in order for with the ammo in order to live. I know I need to get that ammo, get that rod suit right away. And not have the rod suit leak. Please, can you make this not a 20 damaging floor? You use the 20 damaging floor here already. Fail to grab the ammo. Grab the rocket launcher, grab the ammo, and start blowing it out of the pieces. Grab the rod suit, get the med kit, get under cover somehow. Oh, that is cover, okay. Now I just have to worry about leaking. At least this fight occurs early, so if you're trying to play without saves or death, it's not like you did it at the end of the level or something. Very difficult fight and probably depends on some RNG. Wait, did that switch? Did that weak? I saw the door weak close. I would like to know what those switches all do. At all, we are looking for potentially well line action. Okay, the switch on the far end. Oh, okay, so that. Yep, so that lowers the lift. So can I just escape, possibly? How about this switch? Okay, that weak closes that pillow, but stepping on the trigger, but then the touch plate right next to it reopens it. Okay, so you could do this. Doesn't soft lock you. Oh, folks, try. Well, I can't have a monster underneath it to also go stop the pillow.
I have to wait for it to close all the way or else it won't open to a very tight. Nope, I can't just rush to lower the lift. Oh, and I missed my jump here. Oh, well, there's a... There is a Mega Armo there. I really love to have a Mega Armo for that fight, but I'm guessing I can't get it yet. Well, I guess if I... No, oh, I can kill the outro, but I didn't get my rat suit. I could try and avoid stepping on the touch plate so the door does so that pillow doesn't disappear when they have some cover. But I have to step on one of them to get the ammo. And same for the health. So yeah, there's a lot of possible different different strategies and one of them is simply none of them seem easy and one of them is to simply just keep trying until RNG works in your favor. Which is what I all say I chose to do. And now it's back to complete quiet. And all of a sudden we go from lava to water. Oh. Okay, that's a fast way lift. But still the platform ways are not a lift. Okay, this seems timed. Gotta get the cross. Okay, walking in the water lowers it. Just walking, I don't want to walk in the water. Because walking in the water literally turns the floor back into water. Which means it lowers it all the way to the bottom. So that seems simple enough, just don't walk in the water sectors. You're gonna, you didn't die in two that time. Kind of a nice reuse of the same room to get up that lift. A bunch more. Backstin really backstin immediately. Okay, well that seems easy enough. I'll just escape the room. Yeah, 
but it definitely seems the best way to manage this fight is to just to stay. Then start spamming, just spamming rockets and such. Try and deal with the potato first, of course, if you can. Make sure you don't slam your rocket into the door as it closes. They also not need too many rockets once the pain elemental's down. And we got inside things going. Oh, don't make me turn the other way. I'm lucky I didn't get hit though. We got the machinery sector effect. Which I kind of machine is kind of cool. I'm guessing the whole idea of the water room was simply to get use of the floor ways to next highest level walk over line combined with the floor lower to lowest floor walk over line if you step in the water. Because if you step in the water Wait a minute. Now it looks different. Yeah, but if you step in the water, you get the floor lower to lowest floor walk over. And when you go up the lift, you get the floor raised to next highest level walk over. All in a way that makes some level of sense. I mean, after all, if you step in the water, the floor becomes water again. Some of that's the exit already. I just went around in a circle, as you can see on the map. So I would have a chance to get the berserk again. I still don't need it, though. Oh, yeah. When Stuff Tower starts teleporting in behind me, my best hope is gonna be to try and get the. Yep, allow myself to retreat to the beginning first room and then get away from the crossfire situation. Yep, the door's not high enough for you to get through, yet you're stuck in it so it can't close. I hope there's not an outfall that I've let in this doorway. There's a manky bus. That's not a problem. Well, that will... Well, I guess a berserk would be good for this fact. But I happen to have enough shells to fit bullets to finish them. And that's all the kills. There's no outvial in that area. This area. And I'm in some kind of giant train or... Not the train, it seems like some kind of giant minecart or something. Okay, well that's actually a pretty short level. I did some explanations and all and it still took me under 10 minutes. I mean, I can see that the, the it's really just that first fight that is certainly the meanest setup I've seen in this ward so far. There's only really three key major fights in the level, 
and the other ones you can retreat from. So I wouldn't say the second and third fights are such a big deal, especially if you know they're coming. You can, I mean the last fight is a big attempt at the crossfire situation, but you can retreat from it by going back to the stout. The second fight you can retreat into the room that has the raising water lift. It's the first fight that seems really tough, which is sort of a blessing Phobos made at the first fight because that means if you're trying to beat the level with no saves, you fail early as opposed to late. So, cool enough level. What's next? Meat grind though. Over on the other side of the... Too bad in vanilla you can't actually see... You can't actually have a moving mine count. This level is 188 mantles and Phobos says it's one of the biggest levels in the wad. It's also the last level made for the wad. So we might expect another couple, another dose of railroad line actions. But that will be for the next video, so I'll see you then and then. Hope you enjoyed this video.